Hello, and welcome back to another Top Facts video. We made this video after a vacation, in which we saw this strange buddy swimming near us, and we thought that was a snake or something. It turned out that weird creature was an oarfish. This fish is rare as you may only see it once in your entire lifetime. But after we did a little research for this video, we think that you should wish you'll never see them, especially at the beaches like us. This is incredible things, and we will explain why. But before we begin, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel for more bizarre animals facts. Now, let's hop in! Okay, let's talk about some characteristics of this odd creature. The oarfish is one of the longest creatures underwater, with a length of about 30 to 40 feet, and some even grew 50 feet, which is as long as a four-story building. At first, we mistake it with a snake due to its incredible length, but some countries really call it the ocean snake, or even monster. It would take a crew of five to six people to hold an oarfish. The oarfish usually come with a pink color, so it obviously isn't fair when someone calls them the monsters. There are tons of predators that are too ugly to look at. All right, the reason why they are rare is because they swim deep under the Pacific and Atlantic oceans. Most oarfish appear at a depth of 3,000 feet. It's pretty dark there, and only weird creatures like the anglerfish and these oarfish buddies can live there. But unlike the scary anglerfish, the oarfish don't have teeth. Their main food is tiny fish and squids. Even when they mostly live deep under the ocean, they are not a good swimmer. They only have a pair of tiny little but long fins to move around and lift their long and heavy body. That's what makes the name oarfish, since their incredibly long fins recall the rowing oars. Well, two oars are not enough to control that long body. Those are the main characteristics of the oarfish. Because they are rare, so you may not see them at the zoo or aquarium. But at times, the oarfish suddenly appear on the ocean surface near humans. Each time they got caught by humans, the media outlets would make it appear on the headlines for a special title, like the lucky fishing crew caught the sea monster or something like that. But what if we tell you that it's actually a super duper duper bad luck if you see or catch the oarfish? Let's head to Japan to hear some tales about the oarfish. In this country, there's an ancient story of the oarfish, that it is an ocean god's servant with the appearance of a woman in the body of an oarfish. That sounds creepy, right? This servant's main job is to deliver the messages from the palace to the people, which are most likely the premonition of deadly situations, and remind people to always be careful. Of course that's the legend. Does that apply to the reality? Well, speaking of Japan, that country is in the Ring of Fire, which is defined as the main spots of volcano eruptions, earthquakes and tsunamis across the planet. Japan is not a stranger to these kinds of natural disasters, because they face earthquakes every year. But the real challenge comes as each time the oarfish appear, the disaster is even more deadly than usual. Let us take you back to 14 years ago, when there were 20 oarfish suddenly died on a shore. Some people recalled the ancient tale, and were afraid that a large-scale disaster might soon happen. The worst thing is, they were right. Only a few months later, the March earthquakes and tsunamis struck the country. The casualties went up to 20,000s, and that event left Japan a scary nuclear accident in Fukushima that's still unresolved until today, as well as the total damage of $360 billion. A similar scenario happened in Philippines. This Southeast Asian country isn't facing earthquakes as often as Japan. But in 2017, dead oarfish also washed ashore, and that led to the 6.7 magnitude earthquake that took the lives of eight. Last August, the oarfish appeared in California and another strong earthquake happened there. Are the oarfish really able to predict these events? Actually the scientists are yet to find the most convincing explanation for this, so everything can be assumed as coincidence. But the oarfish only appear on the ocean surface when they are about to die, or their habitats get messed up because of tides, storms, or even the eruption deep underground. The oarfish can easily lose control of the body when their conditions are worsen, and eventually stay afloat on the ocean surface. But, the oarfish still live up to its nickname as the doomsday fish, and you should really consider run away quickly if you see them near you. It's alright to be pessimistic a bit. 
Meanwhile, the oarfish are not the only creatures that inform you about the weather or nature changes. The dragonfly is the typical insect that does accurate weather forecasting. If it flies low near the bushes, it will rain soon. Or in some countries, if the ants appear more indoors, that means the rain season has come and the ants have evacuated from the nest. The legend of oarfish works like that as well. Since the ancient people took that as a life experience and prepared for the worst scenarios. Well, we hope that this amazing story will resolve your curiosity about this ocean fairy. Though oarfish are beautiful, but let's hope that its possession won't lead to any bad things in our daily lives. If you love this story, you can check out the playlist at the end to watch more animals facts. Don't forget to subscribe to Incredible Things to not miss any future episodes. Bye bye.